Hey friends, Power Guy Rob Phoenix here. Um, hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, beautiful afternoon. I've just been reading um, parts of the sixth and seventh books of Moses. Um, this is one of the foundational texts of the Powwow tradition. Uh, and it's really interesting when you read it and just like take your time and really absorb what the book is trying to say because it talks a lot about Jesus and a lot about what Moses did and, you know, all the people in the Bible who did these like miraculous works or great works of healing, that things of that nature. Um, even the, 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 uh, the character of Simon, the sorcerer, uh, who wanted, wanted the secrets of this magic, but didn't, didn't have that right proper faith so he was considered a fraud um but it talks a lot about how the healing that's found in the book it says the art of healing according to scriptural principles deserves special mention in this place in more than one respect not only because something truly magical takes place therein but because scriptural healing is often regarded as the only true one the principles of this art of healing have been fully established according to certain declarations and doctrines of the Bible. Um, and that's very true. It's, you know, one thing must not be omitted. We must first become Christians before we can be perform cures by Christian methods. <clears throat> and I think that's, I think that's true of uh, any, any sort of uh, religious thing. Like I think, um, I think it's unfair for people to say, well, I'm going to do this, uh, this Hindu thing, and then I'm going to do this Christian thing, and I'm going to do this Irish Celtic thing. Um, I don't feel like we have a right to all that. Uh, that's my personal feeling on it. That's my personal feeling. I would not feel right if I were to, uh, <clears throat> you know, do something that belongs to a whole other religion, unless, uh, I knew enough about that religion and I was trained in it and I was like given the quote unquote right to do that. Um, but anyway, that's my thought on that. But the more important, you know, a uh, uh, lar larger thought that I had was that uh, the magician back in these days was considered someone who was both a Christian and a healer, like a, a physician. So like the physician priest was the ultimate magician. Um, because, like, hold on. Uh, we live close to an airport, so, uh, when the planes come in for our landing, they're very low, like over our property. It's really cool, actually. Uh, but even if you can't hear the plane on this video, it screws up the microphone. So my voice would have sounded like Darth Vader-ish or something. Um, but anyway, the physician, uh, the, 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 the physician priest we we're talking about. And so, you know, powwow kind of has that element of, um, we're the healers, but we're also uh, kind of like a quote unquote priest, even though that's not that's not exactly what we are. We're not like a priest in the sense that we've necessarily gone to seminary and all that. Um, but uh, it, it, you know, a lot of us, um, a lot of us I have found, I can't speak for everybody, but a lot of us have become disillusioned with the church. The church as an institution and so therefore have uh chosen to walk the path of christ on our own and that's why as power hours you know as we get older and stuff we find ourselves uh 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 uh, uh really seeking to be alone um because we get closer to god as we get older we become more in tune with uh uh the gifts that we do have and possess and we know our limitations um we know our strengths and we know we understand greater how to help people we, i think we just get better as we get older you know you look back on mistakes you've made or 
um, stupid decisions, you know, you, you made or things you've said or done like a year or two years, three years, five years, 10 years, 20 years ago. And you think, oh, I wish I hadn't done that, but that's all part of the growth process. And so as we get older and we can still continue to walk this path with Christ and learning to be a healer, you know, every year I learn more and more and more about making medicines and such. Um, there's even a quote in this book. It says <clears throat> that when they're talking about medicine, they're talking about God made plants as medicine for us. And it says, for medicine comes from the most high. The Lord has created medicines out of the earth, and he who is wise will not abhor them. With such does he heal men and take away their pain. So, you know, God has created, like, everything we need is here on earth. Everything we need is growing, and it's a part of earth. Um, and so the, the powwow, the powwow is going to learn that, you know, how to work with that stuff. Not everything. I mean, one person can't be everything. But, you know, we can do our best to, um, you know, walk our path with Christ walk our path as a healer and a, uh, you know, a, a priest in our own kind of way, I guess you could say. Um, and that's it. And just kind of like share some wisdom along the way and, you know, uh, try to get better as you get older, try to become more wise and more helpful and more kind to people. Um, that's all we can do is try. So, Anyway, I, I just have a lot of random thoughts and I'm trying to cram them all into one video. And so it's probably, there's no themes to this at all. Just my rambling. <laughs> um, but anyway, it was a good day. Uh, I got a lot of work done. I got, um, even though I was working from home, uh, working from home, <laughs> um, I did manage to get some stuff done, especially at lunchtime. I went and I got some veggies to plant into the garden. So we'll do that in a couple of days. Uh, I just got a couple different kinds of tomato plants and some peppers and uh, some cucumbers. You know, I don't know what else we're doing, but we'll wing it. Um, so that's that. So, yeah, grow your medicine. Learn how to use the medicine that God has given us. You know, become the physician priest, become the powwow uh, and use your gifts and your knowledge to help others and share your knowledge with other people so that it spreads and grows and carries on. So that's all I have to say for now. Uh, hope everyone has a great Friday. Enjoy the weather while we have it. And that's it. God bless you guys. Love you. And we will talk again soon.